Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Miraculous Ladybug theme, okay? So I'll be teaching you my favorite part and the most catchiest part of the song, which is the chorus section, okay? So in this song, the chorus section plays a lot of times, so let's go ahead and learn this catchy chorus section. So before we do that, I'll give you a preview, I'll play it, um, so you know what it sounds like and what it kind of looks like as well, okay? But anyway, here's a preview, it goes somewhere like this, check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn how to play this. Let me check if all the keys are in view yet. Yeah. So the D sharp is the highest key right here in this song. We can just, just see it. Okay, but anyway, let's go ahead and break this chorus up into four main um, parts and let's go ahead and learn it. Okay, so it goes like this. Right hand starts on the high B up here. So middle C is here. We go up an octave to this C and then we go up pretty much another octave here. So it's B. Okay, so the high B. A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and then it repeats, and it repeats, actually no, it doesn't repeat anymore, okay, that's the first part, okay, so, okay, so it repeats again for the second part, but I'll just keep it short like this, okay, but anyway, let's do it again, so it goes like this, B, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and then B, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp like that. So it's eight notes for this first part for the right hand, okay? Yeah. So the rhythm's like this, it's offbeat. Da 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 one, two, da 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 one, two, like that. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so once you get it, one, two, da 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 one, two, like that, okay? Once you get that right hand for the first part, the left hand for this first part we have two chords and the two chords are okay, check it out. So the two chords, the first chord, it's G sharp minor, which is G sharp. B and D sharp, all right? And then the second chord is E major, which is E, G sharp, and B, all right? So with these two chords in mind, so G sharp minor, followed by E major. And with these two chords in mind, let's go ahead and put the two hands together. So it goes like this, right hand starts of the four notes, after the G sharp, G sharp minor by itself, and then the right hand comes in, after the G sharp, E major by itself, like that. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. Here, two, three, four, here, two, like that again. When it's faster, two, like that. All right, so that's the first part of this chorus. Let's go ahead now and move on to the second part of the chorus. Right hand continues on, uh, which is the same um, four note motif as before. It goes B, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, another G sharp, and then another third G sharp, up to the high D sharp above, the highest D sharp you can see in the video, and then down to C sharp, and then back up to the highest D sharp again. Okay, so that's the right hand for the second part of this chorus. Okay, so let's do it one more time. So it goes like this, right hand goes, B, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and then G sharp again, another G sharp, up to the high D sharp, and C sharp, up to the high D sharp again, just like that, all right? So that's the right hand for this second part, okay? So rhythm goes like this, da 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 like that. All right, so that's the right hand for the second part. The left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are, okay, check it out, C sharp minor is the first chord, C sharp, E, and G sharp, all right? And then the second chord is first inversion of F sharp major, which is A sharp, C sharp, and F sharp, all the black notes, okay? So with those two chords in mind, so C sharp minor, and then first inversion of F major, let's go ahead and put the two hands together. So this is how the two hands goes together. Right hand starts with the first four notes, it goes da 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 da, after the first, oops, so it goes da 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 da, after the first G sharp, C sharp minor by itself, and then right hand comes into two more G sharps, up to the high D sharp, and then after the C sharp, first inversion chord by itself. Like that, okay. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. Here. So that's the right hand for the second part, okay? So it goes like this. 
the right hand, I mean it's two hands together, okay, so that's the so our two hands together for the second part. Like that one is faster and it's the usual speed. Okay, so anyway, that's the second part of the chorus. Uh, okay, so so far, the first two parts we've learned will be played back to back like this. Just go like this, check it out. So that's it for the first two parts, moving on to the third part of the chorus now. Okay, so this third part of the chorus has the same notes as the uh, first part we've learned, okay? But the rhythm is a bit different, so it's still the same eight notes, whereas da 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 da, so those, and then it goes da 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 da, like that. But the rhythm is different, so it goes da 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 da, da like that this time. Okay, so it's kind of like four fast, two fast, and then two slow, like that. So four fast notes, and then two uh, fast notes, and then two slow notes. So it's kind of like da 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 da. da. Okay, so the proper uh, we'll it the subdivision of our notes counting method for this one. It goes a lot of like kind of syncopation. Okay, so it goes like this, like that. Okay, so. Okay, so syncopated rhythm, okay. So that's the right hand for the third part. That's the only hard part because the rhythm is, okay, you just kind of have to like get counter like that. Like that, okay, so. Like that, okay. And when you can get better, you don't have to subdivide it like that, you can count it in your mind. With the chords even easier. Anyway, uh, the two chords, as you just saw, is G sharp minor, which is G sharp B and D sharp, followed by E major, which is the G sharp B. So same two chords as the first part of the chorus, if you remember. Okay, so with those two chords in mind, so G sharp minor and E major, two hands together goes like this for this third part. Okay, so right hand starts first after the G sharp, G sharp minor by itself, then right hand comes in after G sharp E major by itself, just like that. All right. So one more time, so it goes like this. Here. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's that for the first part. So, oh, not first part, third part. <laughs> like that. So, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, like that. Okay, get the rhythm. Just like that. Okay, so that's the third part of the chorus. So, so far, the first three parts will be played back to back like this. Check it out. playing too much and it's playing to the fourth part now okay so the fourth part is actually very easy the fourth part is because it's exactly the same as the second part however the only difference is the left hand chord instead of first inversion F sharp major we go back to root position of F sharp major replace that to F sharp A sharp and C sharp that's the only difference so it's the left hand last chord the second chord um, is different so instead of the first inversion chord we play it as the root position chord that's the only difference to it. Everything else of the notes on the right hand or the uh, the first chord on the left hand C sharp minor is still the same and stuff. The placement and everything is the same. Just that substitute the um, first inversion F sharp major for F sharp major root position. Okay, so it goes like this. So here's the practical side. It goes like this, just like that. So that's the fourth part. Pretty much the same as the second part, but the difference is the left hand last chord, as I said before. Okay, so yeah, just like that. like that and that's it for the chorus okay and now you can just like repeat it and have fun with it yeah and that's pretty much it 
I hope you enjoyed learning this lesson of this very catchy song. Go ahead and check out my full entire cover of this song. I play the entire song, including like the uh, verse section and the pre-chorus section that I also like as well, and then the chorus section which I taught you in this lesson. But anyway, as for now, I guess yeah, go ahead and check out all my other piano covers on the channel. I have so many, I have over one thousand eight hundred videos for you to enjoy and learn from. But as for now, yeah, enjoy time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.